Hello and welcome to AmputeeSockPrints.com. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create some more custom socks today. If you looked at the other video, we grabbed some pictures from the internet and uh, we put some pictures up there and we showed you the easy and the difficult things that you can experience. Uh, well, this one is pretty straightforward. Most of the time when people have photos of their own family or children, whatever, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Once in a while, some cameras are set so high that the picture actually is so large that that will be the only issue that the file is too big. But that doesn't really happen too often. So let me show you how simple this is, okay? So we're here on the website. We're going to get right to it. We're here on the website, and we're going to go to Design Editor. Okay? And then we're going to choose which one we want to do. So let's go on ahead. Let's, let's do a BTKA sock for now. Let's hit Select Product. We're not going to do the tour, so we'll just say no, thank you. I'm going to reduce the size here so you can see the whole thing on the screen. And there we go. Right about, let's make a little bigger, right about there. So it is this simple. Here on the left-hand side of all the different things you can do, you can add a clip art, a text, shapes, so forth and so on. But we're going to go to an image, right? So let's click on Images. Let's click on Upload. And now, just like anything else, we're going to click here. And we're going to navigate to our picture. So I know I have mine on the desktop here. And I put mine right here called Walkthrough uh, Pics. So let me grab a couple of pictures, all right? I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to grab my son. And you know it's successful when the picture shows up here, okay? So when you click, it will automatically put it right onto the sock. Just like I said before, you don't ever want to just stick the sock, the picture here because as you can see these, um, these light gray lines, if you have it just to the edge of the sock, chances are that it, it may shift in the print. So you always want to go to the red, the red border as best as you can, okay? And then if you want to align it right up here, click that, and we're going to hit center. That's it, guys. I mean, let me get this out of your way also. Let's move this to the side. It really is that simple. Uh, you can. We're going to have some fun. We're going to put some text inside there, all that wonderful stuff. So here he is. He's going to be on the first page, okay? Now, if you want the same design on both sides, you simply add to cart and you check out. Let's say perhaps you want another photo, a different photo on the opposite side. So let's click here. Here's the back. Let's go back over here. We're going to pick another picture, right? And now I'll grab this one right here of him again. There he is. Okay. Let's click on it. It's right there in the center. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. It needs to go to the red. Let me uh, reduce the size of the back here so you can see the whole picture. There we go. We'll put it up here to the corner. We'll stretch it out just a little bit. We'll come back up here to this like checker pattern. We'll hit center. That's it. I mean, it really is that simple. And you can just say add to cart. Now let's have a little fun. Let's go on ahead and let's go back to the front, right? Now we're going to go to the arrow. And let's say we want to write something here. Let's say we want to do something funny. Over here, we have a couple tools. Let's go to shapes. I'll grab this little balloon. You could drag or you could click it. We're going to enlarge it. Okay. Just like that. And I'm actually going to turn it the other way around. See? Just grab one of the ends. That's all I do right here. If you grab one of the sides, you can do anything you want with this. So we'll grab it like that. We'll put it here. Now, see right here. Here's the sock, right? You don't want it to the edge. Because, like I said, if there's any shifting, it can end up going this way on the printer. Okay, so you want to keep it over the edge a little bit. Let's change the color. Let's make it white. Come out of there. Now let's add some text to it. So we got the shapes ready. Now look, here's a text tool. Okay. Uh, let's grab this one here. I like that font. And let's type something. Let's say, wish you were here exclamation mark and as you can see it's going across the bottom we're going to change the color okay and we're going to back up and hit enter and we're going to do this one more time wish you were here and now we've got that into three lines as you can see there right so we're good 
Let's grab it. Let's bring it up here. We're going to change the color in just a moment, right? Grab a corner. See? Everything tells you what to do. This one will tell you to make a copy of clone. This one will rotate it, as you can see. This one will delete it, and this one will reduce it or increase it. So let's go in and let's put that here. And let's change the color. Here's your paint bucket. And we'll make it a nice orange because it kind of matches the rest of it. And let's say we want to go ahead and let's say that that bubble back there, right? It's too small. And you're trying to click on it. Let's say you couldn't click on it because you have a couple different layers, right? Every time you add something, it creates a new layer. So let's go in and let's say you couldn't grab it right here. See, everything's to the left-hand side. You go to layers. And this is where you would be able to grab, click on the layer that you want to do. So let's grab that. We'll make it a little bigger. Let's do that one more time. Grab that. Okay, there we go. There we go. Grab the bottom of it. Let's pick it up a little bit. Let's reduce it. And this is just to show you as an example, okay? This is not to say that we would actually want to do this, where we would cover him up. And there you go. I mean, it really is pretty much that simple. I mean, I really hope you enjoyed it. This is a quick little video. As a matter of fact, let's go on ahead and let's 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 put another picture up there, just just for giggles. Let's see. Uh, we'll go back to the backhand side here, right? And he's got this big whale. Well, let's have some fun. Let's go back to images. Let's go grab another picture. Ah, uh, ooh, wait a second. Hold on. I like the way he's looking. Let's come back out of here. Hold on one second. Let's go back to the other side, and this is going to be a little fun. Let me grab my little dog. I mean, I hope you see, it really is pretty neat what you can do here. We're going to grab the dog, and we're going to reduce the size of her, right? And we're going to pretend like she's over here, and maybe she's kind of looking at him. We'll rotate this a little bit. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. And, I mean, this is just for fun, right? So I'm just moving. As you can see, you just click on it, you move it, and now... You have another little picture inside there, and you just have a little fun. So I hope you can see. This is very, very simple to do. Very user-friendly. Uh, super simple for anybody to do. When you're done, you like this side. You like both sides. You go ahead and hit Add to Cart. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing some of the wonderful creations that you all come up with. Thank you very much for coming back to our, our video. And thank you for being part of our family here at Amputee Sock Prince.